Hi, I'm Peter Kalmus. I'm a NASA climate scientist speaking on my own behalf. And now I would like to talk to you about why I say we are currently on a pathway to losing basically everything. Why do I say that and what do I mean by that? Well, you may have noticed that a lot of climate impacts are getting pretty bad now because of global heating. So as the planet gets hotter, we see worse storms, we see worse heat waves, we see worse wildfires and the smoke that comes with them. We see more sea level rise and melting ice, and we have a much greater strain on the food system, on the insurance system, on our infrastructure, on our geopolitics, on migration. All of this stuff is getting worse because of physics, because the planet is getting hotter. And the planet is getting hotter because we're burning fossil fuels. And we're not stopping burning fossil fuels. We're still expanding fossil fuels. The physics is immutable. We burn more fossil fuels. The planet gets hotter. All of these impacts start happening more frequently and more intensely. It's like gut punches to our systems of economy and infrastructure and insurance and politics. As you push harder and harder on these interconnected global systems, the supply lines, the agriculture, everything that 8 billion people need to stay alive, you're pushing harder and harder every year as the planet gets hotter. Eventually, the systems have no choice but to break. They were not designed to handle this level of impact from all of these disasters, these climate catastrophes that are getting worse and worse and worse. That is the nature of trends. We are not in a new normal. We are moving ever higher to higher temperatures as CO2 levels in the atmosphere rise. And that means higher and higher levels of impact. And there's no place to hide from heat. There's no place that's going to be safe on planet Earth. There will be some places that become very unsafe or maybe even uninhabitable before other places. But we saw, for example, in the heat dome in Seattle and Vancouver, people thought of that as a climate refuge, and yet they had this deadly heat wave. And these are gonna become more common, they're going to become more intense, and they're going to become more widespread. So um, no one knows exactly how it's going to play out, but until we start actually ramping down fossil fuels and stop expanding them, we are on a pathway to lose basically everything. I don't think humanity will actually go extinct. You know, if everything collapses, then we'll stop burning fossil fuels and probably the planet will stabilize at that temperature. And there will be some places where small pockets of humans still live. So that's why I use the word basically. But that's a pretty bad picture. I think we can do a lot better. It's not too late to fight. The White House is still approving new projects like the Mountain Valley Pipeline. And this is happening around the world with world leaders who are basically in the pocket of the fossil fuel industry, which insanely does not seem to want a habitable planet. They just want profit. They're looking for bigger bank accounts, for more power, and they're just not caring about the future, which is very weird because we're all in the same boat, which we can call planet Earth, the pale blue dot. We're all on this planet together. And if this planet overheats and the food system crashes, well, that's going to affect the billionaires just like everybody else. But unfortunately, because these people in power insist on expanding fossil fuels, even now, we have no choice but to fight. I'm convinced that that's what's going to turn the tide. And the faster more of us come together and engage in that fight, the more we will save. Undeniable.